Hey, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song Peaceful Easy Feeling, written by Jack Tempchin, and performed by the Eagles from their 1972 uh, self-titled debut record. But basically all you'll need is five chords and two strum patterns. And the song is in standard A440 tuning, so go ahead and tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. So the chords you're going to need to know to play this song are an E major, E suspended fourth, just take your pinky, hold down the E major, add your pinky to the G string at that second fret, adding that A note, E suspended fourth. You also need an A major, a B7 chord, and an F sharp minor. And if you got a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep bringing the content, and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Uh, leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson, what lessons you'd like to see coming up. If you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and thank you so much for your support. So the song starts off with a little introduction, um, and you're going to play the intro four times through, and you're actually going to repeat the intro, but two times through after each chorus. Uh, let me play it for you, and then I'll break it down and explain. So here's the intro, it'll sound like this. Into the first verse. All right, so basically I'm just going between an E and an E sus4 chord by adding my pinky to that G string. Okay, and we're going to learn two strum patterns, and this is how it'll make it easy to know when to play the E and when to play the E sus4. It's basically a measure on each, but this sounds good too because I'm changing the strum pattern on each chord. It's not very difficult once you get the hang of it. Two strum patterns we'll need, and we'll use these throughout the whole song. This is it. So the first one, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four. Okay, eighth note feel. And that's the one we're gonna do on the E chord. All right, but when we change to that E sus4 and you hold the E and you just add your pinky, we're going to change the pattern to this. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Very similar. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four. So you have the one pattern on the E and the other pattern on the E sus4. So practice putting them together. And that's a great little device that you could use to, to add some interest to your playing, switching the pattern per chord. So I do it really slow, just so you get the hang of it. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up down, up. That's the intro, and that goes right into the first verse. I like the way your sparkling earrings lay. And I'll tell you what, for the verses, probably for the chorus too, we'll just use this down, down, up, up, down, up strum. You're going to play E to A three times and then B7, and you do that whole thing twice. So, um, so you know where to change. It's E, I like the way, goes to your A chord. Your sparkling earrings is E. A, lay, E against your A, skin, so B7, brown. All those are one measure, the B7, you stay on it two measures or two times through the pattern. Then do the same thing again, going back to that E, and I want to sleep, you go to the A, in the desert E, tonight A, E with a billion A, stars all around, B7 again two measures and that goes right into the chorus because I got a peaceful all right so let me play the verse for you it'll sound like this Into the chorus. So there's three verses in the song and they're all the same. It's that same progression, okay? And the verse leads right into the chorus. The chorus, because I got a peaceful, easy feeling and I know you won't let me down. Okay, 
That progression is because I got a P spool as A, and you stay on the A for two measures. Now most of these chords will be two measures. To the E, easy feeling. And, and I know I, you won't let me uh, A, two measures. Down is F sharp minor, switches to one measure per chord. F sharp minor is down, and then B7, because I'm all ready, all is E, F sharp minor, ready, A, standing, B7 on the ground is E. Then it goes back into the intro, but two times instead of four times, do it half as long. Okay, so let me play the chorus for you. You're coming out of the verse section uh, with a billion stars all around. So whatever verse you're in, coming out of that B7 chord. So I'll do that two times right into the chorus. Because I got a peace ball. right into the E to E sus4. That's the chorus. And if you're having some trouble with that F sharp minor chord or bar chords in general and maybe changing open the bar chords, I could really help you with that. Tell you what, click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a free video lesson, extended play. It's a long one, it's killer, it's not on YouTube. It's my best playing bar chord tips and technique lessons. It's packed with exercises, playing bar chords, changing bar chord techniques. It'll really get them on point. And I'll tell you what, I'll pair it with an ebook that has chord charts in it, more lessons, more exercises. It's a killer one-two punch video lesson ebook. I'll send both to you for free. Just click on that link below. So right there, you know pretty much most of the song. There's just a few other just little tweaks we'll do. Um, out of that um, chorus, it goes into the intro again, the E to E sus4, but you only do it twice, half as long, into verse two. And I found out a long time ago, you repeat the chorus, then you repeat the intro again, and then it goes into the guitar solo, which you probably won't play, obviously, because you've been playing on one guitar. Um, but just so you know, the guitar solo, all it is is they play the verse changes and the chorus changes underneath it. So it's like a verse and a chorus. You could just play that instrumentally if you want. And then when it goes back into the third verse, same changes, but he just goes, coming out of that chorus, I get this feeling, it kind of holds the chords, don't strum it. I get this feeling, E to A, I may know. Then pick up the strum. Right, just a little change there, not a big deal. Goes into the chorus again, now we're into the outro. Basically, it's, it's kind of like a chorus. You do that same, because I got a peaceful, easy feeling. E to A, E to A, and I know you won't let me down, F sharp minor to B7. Here's the difference. They repeat the next line three times because I'm all ready, E, F sharp minor, standing, A, and then B7. And then they repeat that again because I'm already standing, because I'm already standing. Three times on the ground. And then when it goes back to ground, you do the change again, E, F sharp minor, A to B7. Another three times, and he's doing the oohs and the ahs, and then the last time you end on the E. So it's just a repetition of what you already know. So I'll play the last chorus for you. I uh, can't really sing it, not in my range, but I'll tell you what, I'll just say the words so you can, you know, have something to guide you over. And you can hear how he just repeats that last four chords, E, F sharp minor, A, B7, basically six times. Um, so right from the, because I got a peaceful last chorus into the outro sounds like this, because I got a peaceful, easy feeling. Yes, I'm all ready, standing on the ground. Song ends on the E. So let's do a little play along so you can see and practice all these things connected together. I'll play the intro four times, E to E, sus4. We'll do verse one. We'll do the chorus. 
and then I'll do the E A sus4 two times and start playing verse two. By then it's just repeated. So you get these parts, you'll have 95% of the song. So we'll start off with that intro like this. fun song to play hope you enjoyed this lesson check out the rest of the channel for tons more lessons including more eagles lessons i'll put more eagles lessons in the cards be sure to check them out don't forget subscribe to the channel right that really helps us to keep bringing the content and then also you'll be notified when we have new lessons up and stay tuned i got tons more killer lessons and content coming and also get that free video lesson on bar chord essential playing and changing techniques i'll send you the free video lesson and ebook It'll really get your bar chord playing and changing on point. Just click on that link below. And if you got a second, I just dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego. I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. It's a slamming record. I'm really stoked about it. I'd love for you to hear it and tell me what you think. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to it in the YouTube description box. Check it out. And then if you have any questions like on the gear I used or the songs or the studio production, I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Uh, keep having fun with those guitars, stay positive, keep rocking, and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock on.